Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you for uh, getting the Senate's attention on the most critical economic and social problem facing our state, uh, which is the foreclosure crisis. I think that uh, if we adopt uh, the Thomas Amendment, that we will be granting a true economic stimulus that's fair to everyone in Michigan. We'll be providing tax relief to our businesses, and then we'll also help protect our families from losing their homes. But even equally important, we'll be protecting the property values for all Michigan homeowners, and even still, we'll be helping to protect the retirement funds and investments that many Michigan citizens have in 401ks that are now being decimated. And I say that the foreclosure crisis is not just a symptom of our economic problems in this state and around the country, it is a cause. Let me give you an example. When a home goes into foreclosure and it's vacant and it's vandalized or it's sold at undervalue, that hurts everyone else's property values. So much so, there are very few Michigan homeowners right now if they were forced to sell their home that could actually sell their home at a high enough price to pay off their mortgage. That failure, that reduction of equity in homeowners' um, uh, homes is a, cause of the is a result of the foreclosure crisis. Many of these bad mortgages that end up uh, being defaulted because the homes have gone into foreclosure were purchased as investments investments that failed on Wall Street. These investments as bonds were also insured by big insurance companies who lost billions of dollars and required a bailout of our tax dollars by the federal government and us directly. That's all as a result of foreclosures. If we help stabilize foreclosures, we'll not only help families stay in their home, we will stabilize property values throughout the state and we'll help protect retirees so they'll have some money to retire on. Together, this amendment and Senate Bill 1 offers a real economic stimulus for everyone. One final note on my foreclosure bill. This does not provide a blanket bailout for people who in bad faith borrowed too much money and refused to pay on their mortgage. It doesn't at all. It doesn't also uh, require uh, that the lender uh, go without any type of payment whatsoever. What it does provide, though, is for a circuit court judge to supervise a moratorium for up to two years if that judge determines that it's warranted, meaning that if the borrower in good faith couldn't pay on the mortgage and they could benefit from a little bit more time to find another job, to find another uh, buyer that could pay off the mortgage, but most importantly, having the judge supervise the foreclosure process would provide the needed, needed incentive to bring the borrower and the lender together to voluntarily, not a mandate, but to voluntarily negotiate new favorable terms to help save that mortgage, save that home, keep that home occupied, stabilize the property values in that neighborhood and around the state, and help protect retirement funds, funds from being diminished further. This foreclosure crisis affects all of us, not just the families that are facing eviction or are forced to walk away from their property. A year ago, I introduced this bill, and many legislators said, well, this similar bill was introduced during the Great Depression. Uh, we don't need to introduce it now because we're not facing a Great Depression. My friends, things have gotten worse, so worse. And we could help slow down the economic decline if we slow down the rates of foreclosure. This is a critical, critical crisis facing not only Michigan citizens and taxpayers, but the foreclosure crisis since it destabilized uh, the uh, uh, economic um, status of the bond market on Wall Street has also affected our world economy. I urge you to support the Thomas Amendment to help stabilize Michigan's economy and help stabilize our nation's economy. Thank you.